Hey everyone, we're going to express our improper integral as a limit of definite integrals and evaluate the integral. We have 1 to infinity of dx divided by square root of x. So um, before we get started, I just want to integrate this real quick. So if we had an indefinite integral and we had dx divided by square root of x, that would be like uh, uh, x to the negative one-half power dx. And then when you integrate this, you would get, um, you're going to add 1. So that's going to be 1 half divided by 1 half. So that's going to be give you 2 square root of x. So now we know that part. Now let's get back to our problem. We're going to express it as an improper integral, um, as a limit. So here we have, we're using part 1. Our a is 1, and we're going to infinity. So this is the form we have. So we're going to write it as the limit as b approaches infinity from a, our a is 1, to b of f of x. All right. So that's the first part, and now we have to evaluate it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get... Um, the limit as b approaches infinity and then uh, we're going to uh, do the integral which we already did that's going to be 2 square root of x and we're evaluating it from 1 to b so this is going to give you uh, the limit as b approaches infinity of 2 square root of infinity um, or just, let me just write this in, b minus, and uh, 2 times square root of 1 is 2. So when you put a very large number in here, um, this is going to just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's going to go off to infinity, and there's no numerical value, so it diverges. It doesn't... Um, uh, go to a certain value. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.